I'm Tony. He's Mike. And we are here to close out the Brunoverse. <laughs> <laughs> You we, say that, but there's so many more Bruno movies to go through. I mean, there's a shit ton, so... We are we are going back to the beginning of it all with Bruno Mattei's Vietnam movie magnum opus, Strike Commando 1. We already did Strike Commando 2. We already did uh, Double Target, and, and we had to go back to the beginning to give you the complete Mattei-verse <laughs> experience on this one. <laughs> Tell us about the plot, Mike. <laughs> Shit. I mean, there's... Give me a second to think about that for a second. So, so Strike Commando, it's 1987, Vietnam War action. So we have Mike Ransom and his buddies. Was, was there actually like a squad of them? Was like four of them at the beginning? At the beginning there was, but that was okay. because they were on that mission yeah, yeah. at so, the beginning. Yeah. So at the, they're at this mission and they're trying to break into some Viet Cong thing or something like that. In the background, you got the commanding officer who is in a different branch of government than them, but they hired Mike Ransom's group because they're the best. You've no need to worry, Colonel Raddick. Where your Air Force has failed, my strike commandos won't. Yes, yes. That's You've got to get the strike commandos. That's right. So um, they have like five minutes, I think, or 10 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever time limit it is to get their shit done. It's getting tight. It was tight to begin with. They still got seven minutes to go. Um, evil bad guy commander decides um, you guys fucked up. You're you're running out of time here. You're not gonna make it. So he blows up the place. Hold on, you major. The depot at all costs. Remember, at all costs. For reasons, reasons. yeah. Uh, which I don't know why. So, it, so here's here's the first big thing. Okay, so it, why didn't Mike Ransom go in there to sabotage and do shit? If the, if apparently they already had that place wired for bombs that need way. I, look, it was supposed to be a surgical <laughs> strike. And here's the thing I find kind of hilarious about this. It's a surgical strike. When you do surgery, you're supposed to make as small an incision as possible and get in and get, get done what you need to get done and then get out. But when the strike commandos show up, they try to take down enough fence so you could drive a Jeep through it. Get out. Okay, let's move. Um, they don't like just do like one line and, and push the fence apart. No, 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 no. Oh, they no. cut a big they, circle. They literally burn their clock, cutting a circle so big you could walk standing up through it. And that's why the 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 whoever the government guy is outside of the strike commando elite strike force. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why he's kind of upset. because I think he feels like they could have salvaged that fence and he could have used it in his garden in his backyard or something. But <laughs> but, but anyways, so, I mean, it, it, either way, so everybody dies except for Mike Rance. makes it through the mission somehow or another of course he does and then does he get he doesn't get captured he gets captured later does he, he? gets left and then he's he's like gotta hoof it through and like do his best imitation of rambo 2 <laughs> And so he's got to like, you know, just, just, but then we find out that the Russians are in Vietnam. <laughs> Do you remember me, Frenchman? <laughs> For reasons. Because, <laughs> because you could not make the Chinese the bad guys. You had to make the Russians the bad guys for it to be a proper 80s film. <laughs> so. Are they Chinese? Uh, no, well, sure the, the, it, it, the reality of it was was that the the communist Vietnamese were backed by China, 
But it's the 80s and communism is solely a Russian export because yeah. everything's manufactured in China. So let's not f with them. So therefore, Anyways. we had to have Russian commando steroid McCool. <laughs> Who is <laughs> so pumped up on bullshit? <laughs> oh, what, what was the name? It was, uh. I'm gonna kill you, Jakoda. Jakoda. Yes. <laughs> Jakoda! <laughs> Let's not forget Mike Ransom's little Vietnamese Tell me buddy. About a wonderful place where Mickey Mouse and Donna Doug live. Disneyland. Father Francois. Tell me that to see it all takes a whole month. They sure can. They have popcorn and ice cream growing on trees. Yeah. Who pals around with him throughout the film, and then when his village gets nuked, and not literally nuked, like when they come <laughs> in and level the whole place, Mike Ransom style. Because <laughs> Mike Ransom is a scorched earth kind of guy. Let's let's yes, not he forget. Is. That. Oh yes. But <laughs> it leads to the scene <laughs> that I has me scene. laughing. So hard when that little kid is dying, <laughs> and he's he's trying to sell it like a big emotional scene, and he's tell me about Disneyland. Amanda, tell me, tell me about Disneyland. <laughs> they got tons of popcorn there. Yeah. And all you gotta do is go climb a tree to go eat it. <laughs> and. There's cotton candy, mountains of it, oh. and chocolate milk, and mountains. And there's a genie, a magic genie. And he can't wait to grant your wishes. I so I so wanted Stallone to do this oh. with his delivery that he does in Rambo at the end, because it would have been so fucking great. It would be like the perfect marriage of cinema. I mean, shit, script writing and just classic like overacting, but uh, a list overacting. Yeah, yeah. What? and it would have been it would all would have been awesome. Um, that whole bit with with the Vietnamese kid dying, which which I'm like, it's supposed to be this big heart wrenching scene, and I'm laughing so hard I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the whole scene with with Dakota, and that whole fight sequence. Is complete like <laughs> there's just massive scenes that are just missing. Like the, the fight choreography makes no sense, and and then somehow they wind up on the waterfall, <laughs> and he he punches him off. <laughs> I'm like, was there ever a waterfall that was shown in any of the footage before that? I, I it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So it's it's my grandson. I I because because you know, 10, 15 minutes later, he's gonna like just scorch her yeah, and everything yeah. in sight. <laughs> so, you, you clever bastard! You're working with the editor. Not bad, Amerikanski, but not good enough. <laughs> so, so, um, don't, there's so much to talk about in this film, and it's so batshit crazy, and there's so many hilariously sincere scenes in this film. Ah! My um, favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite scenes is at the end, the final, well, the final battle with Jakoda. <laughs> And uh, Jakota gets gets blown up, but yet his dentures survive, and Mike Ransom catches his denture. <laughs> ah, shut up! Uh. <laughs> 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 
and keeps them as a prize. <laughs> of course. For reasons. <laughs> um, souvenir. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, as, as you do when you vanquish your Russian enemy. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say, this, this is not a movie that you should watch. This is a movie that you should buy. <laughs> I, I am sorry. If, if, if you love schlock cinema, this should be in your library. This is some of the funniest shit I have ever watched in my life. Um... <laughs> I don't recommend you buy it, but it's absolutely free on Tubi right now, so you can watch it there. It's uh, also on Amazon Prime. There too. Um, so yeah, there's there's plenty of ways you can watch it without spending any of your money. Um, it doesn't deserve your money, in my opinion. But but yet, I will say this: I recommend this, which is unusual for me because if you've been watching us do these recently, I hate most of these films. I for some reason really much enjoyed this movie not enough to buy it but enough to recommend and i will probably watch it again ransom the best in the group yeah. if you went into a local gas station and you saw this on the dvd rack for a dollar 99 no i still ain't buying it no no i can get it for free and i'm pretty sure it's on youtube as well along with strike commando 2 and uh double target, double target. Oh. and and all all these shitty movies almost always are on uh, YouTube as well, if you don't mind watching the shitty and, quality. And in case you guys didn't know, there's a lot of actually 80s film companies that are actually putting their own films out on YouTube. So you're not doing anything illegal, you're not pirating it, anything like that at all. It's just they're putting it out there on whatever streaming services will have them. Yeah, and YouTube, YouTube has absolutely no quality standards whatsoever. Because, you know, we're on here. We're watching so. it. <laughs> <laughs> you're watching us right now, so yeah. Um, <laughs> just gonna say strike commando one was where i started and then I, I watched we did the review on strike commando two then we did double target and and i loved going back to watch strike commando one because they were trying to make a serious film and that's the best kind of bad cinema when yes. they're putting yes. a genuine effort in and it just all goes completely off the rails yes. <laughs> and and that is why i say this is a buy on this one um i i most definitely will watch this film again it is sincerely one of the funniest bad movies i've ever seen um i can't get enough of it and i hope you all share my enthusiasm for really god awful 80s bad cinema but I, i've become a bit of a bruno Mattei fan at this point um this is our fourth fourth bruno Mattei Te film that we've, that we've I mean, actually reviewed so again shocking dark may or may not they some say it is some say it isn't i don't know but but, but anyway yeah um it's 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 fun it's absolutely fun um <laughs> but what if you know of some shitty schlocky whether it's the crappy vietnam movies if it's crappy sci-fi let me just throw I mean, this out there if, if red letter media or anybody else has done it or it's already made the rounds on the youtube review circuit we're not interested we want the shit no one's heard of before yeah so yeah any anything else to say about the magnum opus of Mike Ransom, the introduction to the Brunoverse? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> then we're good. We will catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs>